there are so many different ways that you can scalp the Forex markets. And one of my favorite ways to do this is by using exponential movement averages and stochastics to capitalize profits within the one minute time frame. Best part is guys, this strategy is accurate, easy, efficient, and great for beginner traders who are learning how to trade for the first time. And even better is that this strategy can be applied for binary and Forex trading. So let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul. Thank you for tuning in for a brand new strategy update. If you're looking for a strategy that's going to allow you to capitalize profits quickly within the binary and forex markets, stay tuned, guys. You're going to love this strategy. This is actually something that we have introduced uh, first, and the last time we talked about it was a couple of months ago back in April. And this was something that we had back tested beforehand to see if it actually worked, and the results were absolutely amazing. I figured it's about time that we conduct a new update and not only go over some of the uh, consistency levels of this strategy, but also answer some of the questions that many of you had engaged and asked from our first update, all right? So again, I'm gonna share with you exactly how everything works. I'm gonna share with you how to set up your charts, how to execute this strategy, so that way you can capitalize profits very, very quickly, okay? But a couple of things beforehand, guys, before we get started, if you are new to the channel or if you haven't already, be sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way, when we do go live with these new updates, which we do, on a daily and weekly basis, you won't miss out. And if you find today's video helpful, give us a thumbs up guys, like our videos as we appreciate and love your support. Now, for those of you who are new to trading guys, or you know, if you're looking to you know really succeed in the Forex industry, I do just wanna quickly remind everyone um, about our trading group. We have an amazing trading group that is ideal for beginner traders. So if you're struggling, if you're not making the type of results that you are hoping to make in your Forex journey, I highly recommend it that you check it out guys. This is the best place that you get to learn how to trade but you also get to make money at the same time and the reason why this is possible is because we provide easy to follow education that is simple all right we have a lot of traders that have never touched a forex broker that have become some of the best successful traders i have seen just within the past month alone we have live trading sessions that are hosted each and every single day. You also get trade alerts that are sent to your phone so that way you can copy those trades into your broker and make money while you're learning how to trade and so much more guys. So if that is something of interest, which I highly recommend, check out the information below. You will not regret it, all right? So moving forward with this strategy. Now, obviously when it comes to any type of new strategy, guys, it is very important that you practice with a demo account, all right? Very, very important. I can't stress that enough. Again, practice, and once you got the hang of it, apply it to your account so you can start making that money, okay, guys? Now, obviously we do need a charting solution. I'm using TradingView, all right? I do recommend TradingView because it's free. All right, and they also provide so many indicators that you can use for this strategy and any others. But of course, you can use any indicator that you want, um, as long as you're comfortable with it. Just you know, and you know, depend. And in case if you are using a different uh, charting solution, we're gonna go over the indicators that you need and of course the proper settings so that way you can use it. You know, with whatever platform. Okay. So first things first, guys. We want to be focusing on the one minute time frame. Right. Again, we're dealing with short term turbo trades. Right, we're gonna be able to capitalize profits within a matter of minutes for binary and forex trading. Okay, now because we are in the one hour, uh, excuse me, one minute time frame, this doesn't mean that we're gonna be capitalizing trades in one minute. All right, we're not entering one minute trades. This just means that we're looking at data. All right, every candlestick that you see here represents a one minute time period of price data. Okay. All right. Now for binary trading guys, if you're using a binary broker, we're going to be focusing on a three minute expiration. So you go into your broker, select three minute expiry time, and that's going to be your targeted length of time for the trade. If you're using a binary broker for this strategy, but if you are focusing on a, if you're using a Forex broker, you're going to be trying to target five to 10 pips. All right. Five to 10 pips is the best for this strategy. Cause again, we're dealing with short term trades. Okay. Very important. If you have any questions, guys, as we go through this video, please feel free, come forward and let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. And of course, and you can also reach me directly at prestigebinary at gmail.com. Okay, guys. Now we're going to need to use two indicators. All right. The indicators are as follows. We're going to be using exponential moment averages, which is this white line. 
line, okay? And we're also gonna be using stochastics, okay? We're gonna be using both of these as our confirmations before we enter a trade. And the reason why we do this, guys, is so that way we can try to pinpoint and solidify the best winning trades possible based on this strategy. So in order to, uh, to, to add these indicators, simply go here, type in uh, moving average exponential, which is right there. So you just click it once because we only need one of them. Again, exponential moving average, not any of the other variations because if you select a different type, all right, you're gonna throw off the strategy and you're not gonna have a good time, guys. All right, so again, exponential is what we need. Um, so we only need one of them. All right, so that's that white line. And the stochastics, again, go back to indicators, just type in stochastics, and there it is right there, guys, okay? Stochastics. All right. Now, what we need to do is actually adjust the settings. All right. So it doesn't matter if you use a trading view or, you know, whatever charting solution you're using. Um, these settings are very important, guys. So what we're going to do is go here to the exponential movement average, go to this little gearbox. The default setting, I believe, is set to nine. All right. So we're just going to change the length to 200. All right. Everything else stays the same. All right. But we change the length to 200. Um, you can also change the style. You can do white. You can do, you know, any other color really doesn't matter. But again, more importantly is the length. We're changing that to 200. Click OK. Now the stochastics, we change the settings here too. Now the reason why we're changing these guys is because with stochastics, the default setting, I believe, is like 15 or 14. So if I change it to 14, uh, you can see that the high and low points of the stochastics are quite, you know, they're pretty far spread out, all right? So what we want to do is narrow it down a little bit to five, all right? We're going to change the value to five, all right? And the reason why we do this is because it groups the high and low points uh, a lot closer together, which allows us more uh, trade opportunities uh, using the strategy, okay? All right, now... The way that this strategy works is as follows, guys, and it's very, very simple, but it is important that you follow this in order, okay? The first thing that you wanna do is look for the type of trend that you're in. And the way that you can identify this is looking at the exponential moving average. If the market, right, the candlesticks are below the EMA, all right, this means that we're in a seller's market. So in a seller's market, we're looking for sell trades. All right, very important that you understand that. Seller's market, sell trades. If you're in a buyer's market, all right, market is above the exponential movement average, that's a buyer's market, so we're looking for buy trades. Always go with the trend, guys, that is very, very important. When it comes to most strategies, you always go with the trend, all right? Don't go against it unless you fully know what you're doing. But even then, most traders, experienced traders will agree that going against the, uh, the trend isn't always the best idea. So again, guys, go with the trend, all right? Now, the next thing that we have to do is look at the stochastics, all right? Now, the way that the stochastics work is that when we have points or crossovers at the top of the histogram, as you can see here, right? You see, you see all these sharp corner, these sharp little peaks, right? When we have points at the top, right? The little sharp curves, uh, crossovers at the top indicate an oversold market, right? So when we have these points at the top, we are looking for sell trades based on the stochastics, okay? But if we have points at the bottom, this is what's referred as an oversold market and we're looking for buy trades. Now, the problem with this is that a lot of people understand this concept and think that this is enough to trade on their own using stochastics as a standalone indicator, which yes, it can work, but not always. So that is why we need to use the exponential movement average as our, as our added confirmation, okay? This is why we use both of them to try to solidify the best trades possible. So if we're in a seller's market, right? How do we judge when a seller's market? Market is below the exponential movement average. We're looking for sell trades. So if we're looking for sell trades, the only area in the stochastics we wanna be looking for are sharp crossovers at the top. Because again, this is an overbought market. We're looking for sell trades, all right? We're not looking at the bottom of the stochastics if we're in a seller's market, okay? So check this out, guys. This is how it goes as follows. Let's say we enter the trade, we enter the market here, all right? We enter the market here. Market is below the exponential movement average. We've identified our first confirmation that we are in a seller's market, so we're looking for sell trades. So what are we looking for? We're looking at the top area of the stochastics in order to look for crossovers, all right? That will be our second and final confirmation to enter that trade. So we have crossover right here, okay? I'll draw my line there and I'll also draw a little circle. We have our momentum, we have a sharp crossover and momentum right here, okay? You can see that, all right? So we would be entering the trade 
right about this level in the market, right? So if we were entering for um, a three minute binary trade, right? We would have been in profit right here, all right? But if we were entering a trade for a Forex broker, what is our goal? We're targeting five to 10 pips. So if we entered here, 10 pips, right about here. So that's a profitable trading position for both binary and Forex trading. Now let's move along. Let's show another one. Now, sometimes you will have a crossover that may not reach the full top of the stochastics. All right. But as long as you have a sharp crossover, crossover and momentum near the top, these are acceptable. All right. However, sharp crossovers in the middle, in the medium part. All right. Whenever you have sharp crossovers in the middle, these are not acceptable. Okay. We'll just make that red. All right, so you don't want them in the middle. If they're near the top or past the top, they are acceptable, okay guys? So moving forward, we have, so even if we used this as our next trade, right? We're like, okay, it's close to the top. We'll make this green, all right? Even though it's close to the top, we have sharp momentum. So that means we are entering the trade. What's that, right about here, okay? At the point of the crossover, once we've confirmed crossover. So enter in a three minute trade, one, two, three, boom. We would, have, we would have won that trade in a binary trade. If we're using a Forex broker, right? Enter the trade here for five to 10 pips, 10 pips right there. That's a winning trade for us, all right? So we already have two profitable winning trades in a row, all right? But here we have an interesting scenario. We're still in the same trend group, right? Here we have sharp crossover of the stochastics but you'll notice how halfway through the stochastics, it went back up, all right? So even if we had entered a trade at the momentum of the crossover, this would have been a losing trade in binary. Because as you can see, market went up, okay? We'll make this one red to represent a losing trade. Market went up for the three minute binary trade, okay? So we would have lost this in binary. However, again, Using the same example, if we're looking for 10 pips, five to 10 pips, right about there. Now this would have taken a little bit longer to reach, but that's okay. Now, one of the most common questions I've gotten from my previous video is that if we're using a Forex broker, what are we looking for in terms of um, stop loss, okay? So what I recommend doing, this depends on your trading plan, but what I like to do if I'm following this strategy for Forex trading, is I like to look at the nearest possible, nearest broken support or resistance level, okay? So since we're in a seller's market, we're looking for sell trades, I want to look for most recent broken support level, which if we look back just a little bit, is this area right here, okay? Now the reason why I selected this area is because as you can see for several minutes, market respected this area as support for quite some time before breaking through so again we're looking for the most recent broken support level if we're in a seller's market so if i wanted to calculate uh stop loss and take profit level i would slap it right here okay now for a stop loss I would actually place it a little bit beyond our support level, which because now our support levels is going to turn into resistance. All right. And then I would just drag this level out to 10 pips, which as you can see, market did reach right over here. Okay. Right here. So this would have been a losing trade for a uh, binary trade, but a winning trade for a uh, Forex uh, for Forex. Okay, guys, So let's move that. All right. And again, let's do another one. So we have another crossover here. Okay, sharp crossover with momentum. So let's see if we enter the trade right here. All right, binary trade. This would have been a winner right there. So we'll make that green. Binary trade, that's a win. Forex trade, right here. Another win for Forex, all right? So you can see the level of consistency by following the criteria, all right? Following the strategy. Another example, and here again, here's another great example. Sharp cross over here, all right? So let's say we enter that trade. All right, let's move it to where we got it. If you had caught in this, you know, correctly and on time, 
this would have been a winning trade for three minutes in binary. All right. And again, for 4x for 10 pips, right here. Now let's show you how the strategy works in a buyer's market. All right. So we're in a buyer's market. How do we know we're in a buyer's market? Market is above the exponential movement average. So we're looking for buy trade. So now we're going to be looking for crossovers at the bottom of the histogram of the stochastics. Okay. So again, same principle of just opposite direction, depending on the trend that you are following. So let's say we see a crossover right here. Okay. Nice, beautiful shop crossover. So we would be entering the market right about here. Now, as you can see, guys, as we zoom in for a binary trade for three minutes, one, two, three, that's a winning trade right there for us. All right. Now, if we're using a binary, uh, excuse me, a Forex broker, again, five to 10 pips, 10 pips right about right there. All right. So this, let's just drag this out. That's a winning trade for both platforms. All right. Moving on. Another crossover right here at the bottom of the stochastics with our shop crossover. All right. With momentum. So we'll enter the trade right about here. Let's just oh, put this over. So again, binary broker, three minutes, one, two, three, winning trade. All right. Forex broker, again, five to 10 pips. Entered here. We would have capitalized five pips. All right. Now this went a little bit, this consolidated for a little bit, but we would have reached our 10 pip profit right here. All right. So again, another successful trade for both platforms. All right. Now, while this trade was going, because again, our entry point was right here. While our, if we had initiated this trade for Forex, our trade is now active, but we are now looking for other trading positions right here is another trading position. All right. Shop crossover right here at the bottom of the stochastics, meaning we would have entered our trade right about here. All right. And we can go inside here. One, two, three. That's a winning trade. Okay. Let's actually make this a little more visible. Let's make this blue. All right. So there's another winning trade right there. All right. And again, for Forex, one, two, three, five to 10 pips. Right about here. Right there. Okay. Let's stretch that out to here. Another winning trade for both platforms. All right. Again, another sharp crossover right here. So we're going to enter a trade right here. All right. <laughs> we're going to have to change colors here. Um, so we have one, two, three binary trade, one to three minutes for binary. That's a winning trade. All right. Just before it dipped down. So that's a winning trade right there. Okay. And for Forex, five to 10 pips right about there. We'll change that color to yellow. So that's it guys. I mean, as you can see, there are a lot more winning opportunities here, but I just want to show you the level of consistency that this strategy has for both Forex and binary brokers. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free, drop a comment, let me know. Be sure that you practice with this strategy on demo before applying it to your live accounts. And again, if you are new to trading, don't forget about our trading group. I'll leave information down below so that way you get to learn how to trade and make money at the same time with the best Forex trading group in the industry. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.